Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about five ways that you can save money, and I'm sorry, like moving around, but uh, five ways that you can save money on traveling. So the first way you can save money is by, uh, I'm mostly talking about Europe because most of the places that I've traveled to are in Europe. So, uh, but I'm pretty sure other countries do have it as well. I would number one suggests hostels hostels are so inexpensive compared to hotels or even try doing airbnb uh, for us uh, when we went to cuba airbnb was so much cheaper than actually getting a hotel but it, we feel more comfortable than even i don't don't believe they even have hostels there and then uh you know, we've also used Airbnbs in Europe and we like it so much better, so much comfortable. And when it becomes a big group or bigger group, it is cheaper sometimes in an actual hostel. So you have to see what's more convenient for yourself. Uh, number two, um, using public transportation. Instead of taking taxis everywhere, um, you should probably look into using uh, subways metros, um, buses, or just walking. Europe is a really great place to go walking everywhere. A lot of the tourist attractions, depending on the city, are pretty close together. So you can mostly walk wherever you want and you'll see beautiful buildings and enjoy your, your stay better, I believe. And then number three, making sure you convert your money ahead of time. I feel like um, if you convert your money from, let's say, um, from US, so American dollars to euros, if you look, you have the time frame where you can check online every single day what's the best day to kind of convert because it changes daily on the value. So you can check what's more convenient to you a lot of people I know, they change it over there and sometimes it's more expensive or at the airport, it's a lot more expensive. So what I do, I change it with my own bank and I feel like that's been more convenient. I see that they have the best conversion rate sometimes. So just make sure you do your research. Uh, that's really important. And number four, I suggest getting and wherever you stay, you make sure that you say where all the places that you're going to be. Pretty much for me, I like to stay near the touristic parts where because I have made the mistake actually where in Rome we were so far away from all the touristic parts that every day it would take us an hour on the bus to go from one side of the city to the other. So if you know you're going to be spending a lot of time in one place, make sure you get um, Airbnb, hostel, hotel, whatever you book, make sure you get it near those places so you can just walk around or it won't be as much travel, travel time because it will be more expensive for yourself. And also it will take some of the time where you could be enjoying doing other activities. And then lastly, I would suggest, um, let's see. So when it comes to food, what I would suggest is basically um, if you're able to go grocery shopping at the markets, a lot of the countries um, in Europe, they do have a lot of markets. They're known for their markets. So I would suggest going to market and experiencing that culture too because you get to see more of their culture and what they like, what the people from that country actually like. So I would suggest just Try to explore the markets. Uh, it will save you a lot of money. Instead of going to restaurants every single day, try to switch it up. Uh, go to booths where they have food. Or, you know, if you really want to go for, for a restaurant, you can splurge in a restaurant, but don't do it three times a day or four times a day. Just try to emerge with that culture. So those are my tips for and advice for today. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Please like this video if you like it and let me know if you like to see any more videos. <laughs> Bye.